Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and sorry for the delay, but uh, I haven't been feeling very well the last day, so I didn't think I was going to be able to get this done, but we're going to try it anyway. This is the, uh, the third UFC video, and we're going to focus completely on lineup construction. Uh, by the time you guys see this, it might only be an hour before lock, so I don't know if it's going to help that much, but you know what? Uh, I'm doing it anyway for my own benefit, so uh, hopefully you guys see it in time and can learn something from it. So the first thing that I would like to address, okay, let's, let's update, we'll put the projections in as we have them right now. Let's see. Let's stop the longer. And I do want to address two projections, which I think are, ooh, who's out? Oh, uh, right. Because I have, is Kwamba out or just don't, I don't have a projection for him? We got to give him a projection here. Okay. Um, so the first two guys that I have to worry about are, well, it's Devin Clark for one. And the other one I have to deal with is this first fight, which is the um, Hyder Emil against Fernie Garcia. Now, this is something I don't do that often, but I really think that the projections are off um, for that first fight. As I talked about in my uh, breakdown of the fights on uh, Thursday, th there's there's three ways that you can, you know, rack up fantasy points. One is, you know, by by getting an early finish. Another is by getting a bunch of takedowns, and the third is just having an incredible pace. And I just don't think that the the industry has accounted for that in in a, in a real way with this fight. I feel as though uh, Hyder, Hyder, um, whatever his name is, yeah, Hyder is going to be bringing a very, really fast pace. And it's going to create the opportunity for a lot of stuff to happen. And I think both these fighters are, are under projected, if you want to know the truth. Um, the other one is, is Devin Clark. Um, De Devin Clark is getting a lot of, a lot of projection value, presumably because of his takedown upside, because, I mean, doesn't have the greatest inside the distance prop. And I'm sort of inclined to downgrade him just a little bit. I just don't see a world where he should be projected higher than, than Protes with that incredible inside the distance line. Um, and certainly he shouldn't be higher than Rodriguez, who has a combination of both there's a better inside the distance line. And I think just as much taken up. So I think, um, so we're going to have to adjust those down and that's a decision that you guys all have to make on your own, but, but I'm definitely doing it. So we're going to, we're going to downgrade him. I mean, I want to put him below Rodriguez if you want to know the truth, but let's, let's put him 75 points. But how do you put him ahead of bright check? This is this is going to end up being probably the death of me, but we're we're going to downgrade Devin Clark pretty severely here. I don't know what to tell you. And then what we're going to do is we are going to upgrade both Garcia, at least five points for both of them. So so Garcia five points higher, and um, Emil five points higher. I mean, I really think that Emil. Is, is just as good. Well, I really can't put a meal better than Clark, right? So where do I have him? Where do I have a meal here? That's 74. I mean, you can't have him higher than Clark, right? I don't really want him higher than Rodriguez either. So maybe just up a little bit, maybe just 72 or something. I think this is reasonable. And let's put Clark at 72, actually, not two, 72. 
All right. Now, again, again, this is not that big of a deal, but I mean, it is a big deal. But I just wanted to be, you know, full disclosure that that's what I was doing with those two guys. Um, all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run our 150. And first, we're just going to run them just normally. And it's going to take a little while. So let's, um, let's, uh, I guess I'll put you guys on hold until we come back. Let's just make sure it's running. Uh, is it moving fast enough? No, I got to come back. So this should probably take about five minutes, but I'll come back in a second. So this is what we get. We've run 5,000 lineups. And again, it's important to know what we're looking at here before you go crazy about why we're getting all these all these guys up here. Number four, Desert Wolf Furnace. We're looking at, sorry. Number nine, traffic boss, fourth number one, leaving, 4291. We have to, uh, we're, we're rating these by Saber Sims MMA default, which is by far the most aggressive way to rate uh, these lineups. So just to review, for those of you here for the first time, the MMA default um, ranking is you you're using the 99th percentile okay as far as the lineups go and then you're dinging it for the sum of the adjusted ownership so it's uh it's rough <laughs> uh it's 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 really as aggressive as it can, as it can come you're almost guaranteed to have at least really close to unique lineups and it's something that you know, you can use as a part of your portfolio. Now, on a 14 fight card, I don't believe that you need to use too much of this as far as rankings go. Um, where, you know, in previous videos where we've had shorter slates, we've had to rely on this quite a bit. Um, we uh, don't really have to do that for this, uh, for this card, but I do want to have some. So let's put, I guess, the first 30 of these in our saved file here. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's not exactly who you'd necessarily want to play, okay? But, but it, it diversifies your lineups into some really unique um, builds. So let's uh, put these in saved, okay? Let's make sure what we have here. We only have 30 lineups, which is good. All right. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna re-rank these by the, the normal group, which is uh, Sim Diversity 10. Okay, so Sim Diversity 10 is the kind of, uh, not say default, but kind of the good, Saber Sim, Saber School rankings, where you take into account upside, really good GPP lineups. Okay, and the guys that we talked about are showing up as as top plays over here. Okay, um, and normally, what I would say is that in your normal, um. GPP, uh, your normal UFC GPP with 12 fights, for example, this might not be good enough to get unique enough. But in a 14 fight card, I think that this is a good way to get unique. Okay. Um, now, I, I think that you should do something with the geo me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think you could just kind of let it roll. So we do have to see what's what's going on here a little bit. Um, let's remind ourselves of how to do this. There's 22,875 entrants. Um, and using our calculator here, that means that if you want to be unique, you need a geo mean of 18.7. Um, I don't think we need to be that greedy. So what if we made it 
five. Okay, five dupes. Min, uh, so geo mean of twenty four point five. That should be good enough to get this done. So let's 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 filter for that. Geo mean twenty four point five. And I think this is this is pretty reasonable. Okay. So it's got some guys you feel uncomfortable with, some guys you don't feel as uncomfortable with. Maybe a little too much uh Freddy Garcia for your own liking, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Um so I think these 30 can go in. Maybe even more than that, you know, because this is a pretty, you know, it, it, it's mostly the good plays, let's put it that way. But let's, uh, so that we can get a little bit funky, let's just use 30 of these. Put these in favorites. Favorites. Next bunch we want to take a look at are the, um, are the SIM lineups, where we're actually comparing them to the field that Saberson believes people are going to play. And that's actually a pretty, it's a little more, I guess, aggressive. It's a little more precise, I think, than going straight Saberson or straight Saber score. So we are going to take a handful of lineups with those. Taking a look at Gulfstream Park, by the way. As well. The inside George Um what do I need a golf stream park? I think the I think we need a seven, right? Do I want to sweat something? Yeah, let's let's sweat the seven here at Gulfstream while we're waiting for this. So really nowhere to be found right now. We need infamous covert. Just kind of hoping that this whole race falls apart here. See sevens all the way in the back. Yeah, unfortunately I wouldn't be able to focus. So we have to wait for this to end anyway. Right, so the seven hopefully is going to overtake the two and have enough pace to run at to get past all these guys. Let's see. I'd like to see him pretty soon show up on the outside. I don't know if he's got enough. Let's see. All right, so we're going to sweep on the outside. We need all these guys to fall apart and us to come barreling down the center of the track. I mean, it's possible, but we need a lot of things to happen at once. All right, so we're coming. That's good. Looks like this eight's got a little bit too much momentum. I don't think we're going to be able to get him. Probably get up for maybe a late second. No. So we flattened out. So much for that. Um, so we ran the sim, by the way, in the background. And now what we're going to do is we're going to rank these lineups now by this, um, by the throwdown. And um, this is pretty reasonable. You know, so let's uh, put 30 of these in. Right, so we're building our portfolio here and they're all, they don't really work too well together. They're really just going to be 150 good lineups. Um, and I go back and forth on whether that's the right approach or not. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to do some more lineups with um, Bogdan Guskov, and I'm going to tell you why. So Bogdan Guskov, I think, is a very, very good underdog here. The problem is it's going to be very, very popular. So one of the things that I'd like to do in the situation is, um, is play him, but leave money on the table such that if you wanted to, you could get up to Zach Pagwa, who has a higher 
uh, median projection, okay? And the idea is to try to trick the optimizer sort of in that, yes, there are people going to move playing boost golf, but not in lineups that leave 600 on the table because those are naturally going to be going to pile up. So what we're going to do is we're going to build 30 more lineups. And what we're going to do is we are going to lock in uh, Gustav. Okay. I know we're going we're gonna to fix this. Gustav. Then we're going to do a max salary of... We're getting 6,000 on the table, so 49,400. We're getting 600 on the table. And we're just going to build 30. Not a big deal. Okay, and we're just going to run these just like this. So 30 lineups with Goose Golf, but leaving 600 on the table. That's a little trick, again, that I kind of developed on my own. And I, I've never really actually back-tested it to see if it... it gets me the uniqueness that I think it does. But I think it does. So this is good, but we don't need to rate it by MMA default. We can rate it by sin diversity. All these leave the right money on the table. And I think this is fine. So let's save these. Boom. So just to keep track of what we have here, we have now 120. So now we have 30 more lineups that I want to play. We did 30 with the uh, MMA default. We did 30 with the Geo Mean Filthy with Saber Sim. We did 30 with the uh, Contest Sims. We did 30 with the Specialty for Buskoff. And then what I want to do is do another 30 just kind of leveraging my top plays. I, I don't know. I just think that's healthy to do that. And what I do in that situation for those lineups, let's go back to build four, is I just literally X out the guys I hate. And that would be um, Marcos, Oki, Giles, Tavares, who did I say I didn't like as well? Um, Brazil, Kwamba. I didn't, I didn't really like Garcia, actually. Um, Gusko said Piper signed Aquilong. Prochniao. Kwamba. Uh, Hermanson. These guys were all okay. Actually, didn't mind Feely too much. Flowers is fine. Clark, I don't know. So then I want to build a, a I didn't want Griffin either. So you have Goose Golf Piper, like these are like the guys that I actually think I want to play. I don't even need Johnson in this build, actually. Or flowers. So what we're going to do is we're going to build 30 lineups with just these guys. And then we're going to probably filter them by, by uh, what you call it, by, um, by Geomean or use MMA default. Let's just make sure for the purposes of this, that we're not using two guys in the same fighter, uh, in the same fight. So let's uh, 30 lineups. How many are we building here? Um, let's see. Build settings, 30, let's just get you like know, 300 lineups maybe at most. I don't even think you could build that many. Let's just see. without coming in for a minute.
right? So we have these. And these are already, by the way, leaving money on the table, which is fine. So I think that's actually good enough. Hundred percent Platera. All this is all this is just fine. We're sorting of AMA default, which we don't need to do. We're already leaving money on the table. So let's just throw these guys in to the favorites. As you'll see, hopefully I have 150 favorites or pretty close to them. Yep, 150 favorites. And this is what we're gonna be having. And, and as you can see, you know, we're getting the majority of our good plays here and we're getting enough of the hydro meal, which makes me, makes me happy. We're getting a good amount of the goose golf, which I like. Bateria, like these are the guys that I wanted anyway, but we built them in a way that with any luck, you're getting a little bit of uniqueness. Um, you don't have to do that much more funny business with 14 fights, but you do have to do something. I think we did a pretty good job of, of, of doing that. Uh, again, I apologize for the lateness of this. I'll just give you some ideas of what you can do um, with the tools that are at your disposal. I'll be a little healthier next week and we'll do a little bit better, but I did want to get this up there. Good luck, everybody.